Welcome back to week four of Building Hoth. So as you guys may recall, in my first episode of Building Hoth, if you haven't checked it out already, right there, I said that I was going to be building Hoth in tandem while I was building the UCSA TAT on live streams. If you were to bet money on whether I would be building Hoth more or the ATAT more, you would bet all of your money that I'd be building the ATAT more. Surprisingly, that's not the case at all. I've been building Hoth more than the ATAT. But I finally got around to doing another live stream this past weekend, and I'm going to show you guys the time lapse of it super fast and show you guys what I got done. Let's roll it. Guys, don't forget to check out my live streams. They're so much fun. We went to war in the last one. Don't even ask questions. Just come to the streams and you'll love it. But let's show you what I got done. And here it is. Wow, look at this crippled thing. It honestly looks like a wiener dog right now. I finally started the legs and it is just massive. This is big. And the scale is starting to kind of form in my mind. And that definitely helps for the mock. So now I know where the legs are going to be positioned when it is in the mock and I can kind of start to figure out where the sloping is gonna be and I'm going to be working on that this week. Next weekend, I'm probably gonna stream as well and hopefully I'm going to be getting the feet done because the feet are the next thing that I really need to get finished so I can do the footprints where the ATAT -AT is going to be or where it was. So hopefully that's gonna be all finished by next weekend. But now that I have been working on this, it's time to go work on Hoth. Let's show you guys what I got done this week. All right, and here we are. This is what I've got done. As you can see, I have dug up a lot of the filler brick that I had here and moved it to here so I can start plating it off. Now, this side of the trench is completely finished, which is great. The trench itself, if we look at it, just trying to get all the plating out of the side, it, it's done. I know that blood looks pretty stand out ish but again once we get the figure in there it's it's gonna look fine so thanks to this guy who did this really cool technique where he used nets to kind of make sloping stuff for his hoth mock now everybody needs to do that otherwise their hoth mark is therefore garbage i've gotten a few comments so far saying oh yeah you should use the net technique guys nets are stupid expensive look at this on screen right here I can't spend $80 on nets for this massive mock. It's just not going to work. So I have come up with a solution. I'm innovative like that. 
and this is the plan. As it goes down, so we're at about four bricks, maybe five bricks tall, five bricks tall right here, and it's gonna go down to about three in this section. Only in the transition periods is when I'm going to use the nets. So it looks nice and natural, I guess you could say. So I don't have to keep on using a bunch of these. This looks good for kind of man-made stuff or mountains that is a little bit more rugged. But with like kind of rolling landscapes, I feel like the netting will look better. So that's what I'm gonna use for that. I'm not gonna use it throughout the entire mock because that would be absolutely ridiculous and I just don't have the money for that. But I have a bunch of stuff ordered. I think I ordered over 600 two by two white tiles. Absurd, should be able to fill this up. And I think I have about 10 nets. So that should do here. And then I'll have another drop down here. And then we'll have the AT-80. -AT. But most importantly, now this side is completely finished. The mountain is done. And I'll show you guys inside of it in a second. Can I just, can we just appreciate the beauty of it, I, I like it, I really like it. Some guy made a comment saying like, oh, make it so it doesn't look like a weird cake and have it be white here. Guy, that doesn't make any sense, pal. The rock is too steep for the snow to stick here, so that's why it is here, and then it's fine to stick up here, and it piles up at the bottom. Let's, let's use some realism here, guys, let's use some realism. I think it looks great, let me know what you guys think. Let's get some angles, oh my. Oh my goodness, and we got the we got those snow troopers in there that I got from those battle packs. But overall, I think it looks good. I, I know some people are gonna complain about this, but I might be able to re replace this with white pieces. I might not, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, I have to flip this entire mock around so you guys can see what I put on the inside of the mountain. Flipping this thing around might have been one of the most anxiety-inducing things I've ever done. But here we are. I guess you can kind of get a different perspective on the mock, maybe. But here's the mound. As you can see, I use these massive big bricks. I, I don't know what you'd call them. They're like these walls. I found a couple of these and that that did it. That did it. So as you can see, there's our Wampa. Sorry for calling it an ice monster in the last one. I think it looks good. So he's like kind of coming out of his little cave opening right here. And it, you know, closes off. There's a little crack right there. Just because why not? I got a little bored. But there he is. There's the Wampa in his little cave. And he, you can't. You can kind I'm trying to see if you can. I don't think you can. I, I, it's pretty much hiding all of the filler brick that I put in there. There's a bunch of different colors, but he just fits the door frame perfectly, which is what I wanted to do. So it completely hides the inside. It looks like it's an intentional part. Whereas, you know, there's nothing tiled on the bottom and all in there is completely unfinished. So it's just a really, it was basically a hack for me to finish this up by just putting him right there. But now you guys can get a good look at the snow work that I've done. Lots and lots of these cheese slopes, double wide cheese slopes, curved slopes and regular slopes like here. I've noticed that by putting curved slopes next to those regular slopes makes it look unbelievably realistic. It's it's absurd. I, I have no idea. It's just that there's just slight elevation change. You can see in the in the curve of the, let me, let me find you an example. The best example I have is actually right here. As you can see, we have these two right here are three long slopes. One of them is a normal slope and one of them is the curved slope. And this one just has a little bit of overhang on this. It just has the perfect amount of realism. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Now, if you guys can imagine this, but throughout this entire thing, and then there's this massive AT, AT right there. This mock is gonna be so sick. Thank you guys so much for the support. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and in the comments, put your suggestions. I will either do them or I'll respond to them. Thank you guys so much for the support on the series. You guys are incredible. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys next week for the next episode. See y'all later. Bye.